Hey, you guys, welcome to another social studies lesson. So yesterday we talked about needs and wants and the differences between those. Now today we're going to talk about professions, and that's just a really big fancy word for saying jobs. So there are all different kinds of professions or all different kinds of jobs out there. And I know, number one, because I've been around for almost 35 years, and number two, um, you guys had so many different things that you wanted to be when you grew up, when you guys filled out your cute little community helper page with Mrs. Beckwith, which I did put up in the hall. And we're going to cross our fingers that you guys get to see them up in the hall. We'll see what happens. But, um, so let's talk about all the different kinds of professions. So there are teachers, obviously. What do teachers do? What do we do? What, like, what is our job? We teach. Yeah. So we teach. We actually have quite a lot that we do. Um, I have to teach students different lessons. And in order to do that, I have to know a lot about the different things that I'm teaching, which means that I not only teach, but sometimes I have to learn or research things myself because um, they keep changing sometimes the requirements that we have on what we have to teach kids. And so if I am not familiar with some of that, um, those new requirements, I have to learn what those mean myself before I can teach kids about it. Otherwise, it would look really bad when with me standing up there going, um, so I'm not sure what I'm doing. I don't do that. But even if I did, it's okay because sometimes we don't know. We all have to learn, right? So let's talk about other jobs. I know some of you said that you wanted to become police officers. What, what does a police officer do? They protect people very good. So their job... I think their motto literally is to protect and serve. So their job is to make sure that people are safe. They do that in a lot of ways. Sometimes they literally have to save someone from a bad guy. Um, sometimes they have to stop a bad guy from doing something. Sometimes it's as simple as a police officer comes out and they teach kids the safe way to ride a bike and the right way to put on a bike helmet. My niece has actually got to participate in an activity like that where they had a police officer come out. They had a big old bike rally with our whole neighborhood and the police officer taught the kids the safe way to ride their bike, um, where they should ride their bike and the right way to put on a helmet. Um, it was really neat. Okay. So they serve in other ways, not just stopping bad guys, although that is an exciting part. Not going to lie. Um, let's think about doctors. What do doctors do? Doctors also save people very good. They perform operations to help people when they're sick or they have um, some kind of a, a health problem. They give medicine to people who might need it when they're sick or have some kind of a health problem. Um, and sometimes they just do checkups. I don't know about you guys, but I have to go in once a year to get my yearly checkup. And they call it a wellness checkup just to make sure that you guys are feeling well. And they check everything. My doctor listens to my heartbeat. He listens to my lungs to see if I'm breathing right. He checks my reflexes. That's when they use that little hammer and they hit you on the knee to see if your leg bounces. Um, like, yeah, they check everything. And that's part of their job is they have to make sure that we are healthy and that everything in our body is working the right way. What about a zookeeper? What, what does a zookeeper do? Right? They take care of animals and there's a lot that goes into that. So they have to feed the animals. They have to make sure the animals get exercise. They have to make sure that the animals habitats are clean and are right for the animal. You couldn't put a polar bear in the desert area where the giraffes are. The polar bear would not do well. You can't put a chinchilla in a pool of water. It will never get dry, believe it or not. Um, so zookeepers have a lot of stuff that they have to do. They brush the animal's teeth sometimes. Sometimes they have to give the animal, um, shots or medication. Sometimes they got to throw the animal a birthday party. I don't know if you've ever seen those happen, but I know our zoo in Utah has, um, done birthday parties for our elephants and some of our other animals, and they will throw them a birthday party and they give them like an animal version of a birthday cake. So they have a lot of different things to do too. 
on your social studies page for today. It is titled Professions. And what you're going to do is you are given a list of different kinds of professions. And there's all different kinds. I think there's a dentist, a doctor, teacher, police officer, a firefighter, um, hairstylist, I think is on there. There's lots. What you're going to do is there's a sentence for each one of them. And it says, I take care of people's teeth. I am a, and then there's a blank you're going to put the profession title in that blank. So if it said, I take care of people's teeth, what would you be? You'd be a dentist. Very good. Then for the rest of the week, you're going to have an assignment slash assessment. There is a book. It is called, I believe, the Community Helpers Research Book slash assessment. What you're going to do is you are going to pick two jobs or professions and you get to become an expert on those two jobs i'll give you a hint at least pick one of them that you want to be when you grow up makes it a little bit easier right so you're going to go through you're going to tell me what that person does in their job what do they have to wear to do that job what um what things do they need for that job and then you're also at the very end, you get to tell me some cool facts about that job. So that is going to be your assignment for the rest of the week. I hope you have fun with it. And I hope you learn a little bit more about what you want to be with you when you grow up and one other profession, um, just to get you a little bit interested. And just so that you can understand that there's a lot that goes into every job. And um, yes, being a parent does count as a job. So you can totally say parent in there as well. But thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you again soon. Bye friends.